All right, guys, so I got the bike loaded up in the back of the truck. And one of the things that I mentioned earlier is having your straps already here in the proper place. Now, this is bike number two in or left to right. So this would be bike one, this would be bike two. So we're gonna put our first strap to the chalk tab on bike one's chalk. And we're gonna come over and we're gonna lace a soft tie through the triple tree. And I like to, there's a cheater move. I like to balance the bike with my foot on the foot peg. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stuff that strap through. I'm gonna hook the soft tie and then I'm gonna cinch the strap just relatively snug, straight for now. I'm gonna secure the other soft tie on the other side of the bike. The hardest part is getting the strap behind the number mask or the headlight. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little strap maintenance. I'm gonna tuck this strap into the safety hook. All right, so let's just say that we have the bike chalk here but we want to reposition it. We're going to take a third bike or we want to maximize the cargo loading space in the back of the truck. All you have to do is pull the detent pin, slide the chalk where you want it. And this one, we're going to go all the way over, line up the hole, detent pin, and we're readjusted, ready to go. Okay, so with the bike in this far outside position, we're going to utilize the telescoping arm. All we need to do is pull the wire safety pin, slide the uh, telescoping arm out until the bolt, excuse me, until the hole clicks. That's approximately 10 inches. Now we're going to secure the strap into position. Uh, I've got the bike already loaded, but typically you would have the straps laid out maybe on the bed rail and ready for when you bring the bike up. So now we're going to thread the strap soft tie behind the number mask or the headlight secure and just real lightly attach it now this next chalk if we're running two bikes extremely wide so that the center of your truck is accessible for gear notice the one bike stays up with one strap and what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to the other chalk so let's move that one over to simulate that we're using the full bed and so we've got the chalks as wide as possible. Slip that detent pin down in. Sometimes they're a little bit of a lining it up is the hardest part. So I'm going to position my strap on the rack. Extend the strap. And again, I'm going to stuff the soft tie behind the mask and the brake lines. I'm going to hook. Now again, the bike is very loose, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're gonna push this way, cinch it down a little bit, cinch it down this way a little bit, and the bike is extremely secure. And if you'll notice, we're all the way outside on the outside edge of the truck bed. So we'll get a shot for you from behind so you can see how much of the truck bed is usable for storage, for gear. 